This time, we're looking at something which has been consumed by mankind for thousands of years. Uh, we're talking about milk. How is milk created? Well, in fact, a cow has four stomachs. The first stomach begins to break down the grass before it passes through the second and third stomachs where nutrient absorption begins. Eventually, in stomach number four, gastric juices finish off the digestion process and nutrients extracted from the food are absorbed into the bloodstream. In the udder, the blood passes through very small blood vessels surrounding groups of secreting cells called alveoli. It's these that actually produce the milk using the nutrients carried in the bloodstream. Aside from the food they eat, cows must also drink plenty of water. 18 litres of it produce just four and a half litres of milk. And the traditional way of milking a cow was, of course, by hand, using a stool and a bucket. And I'm going to give it a go. Farmers, going back to the Iron Age, milked cows in this way. John, is that the first time you've done that? Yeah. Well, she's obviously very full because that's coming out without much encouragement. But it's not as easy as it might seem. There you go, girls. The average cow produces about 27 litres of milk a day. But it has been known for cows to produce more than 100 litres in a day. And you can drink the milk straight from the udder, as I am about to demonstrate. There we go, whiskey. There we go. Oh, that is absolutely delicious. Technology has entered the world of the moo cow. Richard and Johnny have come to one of the most modern dairy farms in Britain, where a laser-guided robot milks the cows. It's called an automated milk harvester, and it operates 24-7, allowing the cows to enter of their own free will. So talk us through the process. How does it work? OK. The cows walk on from this side, come into the box and stand there. They're identified by a microchip, which they have in a collar on their necks. The computer will then decide whether it wants to milk this cow or whether to let this one go and take the next one. So it's trying to be as efficient as it can. It's always looking to harvest the maximum amount of milk every 24 hours. Why would it let a cow go, then? Why would it not milk one? If she doesn't have enough milk in her rudder, it won't invest six and a half minutes of its time for a small amount of milk. It's looking for a cow with about 10 litres of milk. And sorry, just to explain, Neil, how does it know whether it's worth milking her? It keeps a running total on every cow in the herd can then calculate to within half a litre how much milk is in the cow before it starts to milk her. And how many cows a day is it milking? It'll milk 70 cows three times a day. It can do about 200 milkings over the 24-hour period. And what's the most, say, a cow can yield? We've had cows on here that have given 100 litres in a 24-hour period. Goodness me. Which is extraordinary. Yeah. massive. Once the robot has committed to milking a cow, a brush system first cleans and sterilises the teats with hydrogen peroxide to prevent any infection being passed on. The orange brush then massages the cow's udder to encourage the production of the hormone oxytocin, which is needed to stimulate the milk flow. The milk comes down through these tubes, goes through this electronic box, and there's 10,000 pounds worth of sensors in there which monitor the quality of the milk. It can see watery substances, cow muck, dirt, blood, anything which isn't normal in the milk, it will see it, and then it separates that milk out into these buckets. And then when the process is finished, it takes about uh, four seconds to chill the milk down from 37 degrees down to two degrees. Goodness me. And it's not just the milk that's chilled. This system can prove much less stressful for the cows. In fact, on this farm, they're actually living an average of 30% longer than those on farms where they use more traditional milking methods. But what happens if something goes wrong with milking when the farmer is not around? Well, this technology is so advanced, the robot just contacts him over the phone. The system actually automatically contacts you if there's a problem. It does, yeah. It will ring me immediately within seconds of identifying a problem. There are about 100 sensors on here that can all detect whether it's working correctly or not. Any one of those finds a problem, brings me straight away, gives me a message to tell me what the problem is. I can then text back codes to try and fix the problem from where I am. 
or even if I've got my laptop and a wireless broadband connection, I can connect on anywhere in the world using the cameras, I can see what's going on and I can use my keyboard to sort the problems out. Wow. wow.